Introduction to Vaginal Forceps Delivery Welcome. Today, we'll discuss how forceps are used to assist with the vaginal delivery during the second stage of labor. Forceps come in pairs of crossing branches, each featuring a blade, shank, lock, and handle. There are two curves on each blade, one that matches the fetal head, cephalic curve, and another that follows the birth canal's pathway, pelvic curve. Once the blades are correctly positioned around the fetal head, they are locked together in a tongue and groove manner. Forceps delivery can be considered when the mother's cervix is fully dilated, membranes have ruptured, the fetal head is at least at a plus two station, and there's no suspicion of cephalopelvic disproportion. Adequate anesthesia, an empty bladder, and a clear understanding of fetal head position are also essential. Common reasons for applying forceps include a non-reassuring fetal heart rate tracing or maternal exhaustion leading to ineffective pushing. When the fetus is in an occiput anterior position, the operator guides the first forceps blade into the vagina by sliding one hand between the fetal head and the maternal vaginal wall. With the other hand, the handle of the left branch is grasped and the inner surface of the blade is placed gently against the baby's head. By carefully sweeping and rotating the blade, it's positioned so that its upper edge lies just a finger's breadth away from the lambdoid suture. An assistant may hold this handle steady, while the second blade is similarly inserted on the opposite side of the fetal head. With both blades in place, they are brought together and locked. Intermittent gentle traction is then applied during each uterine contraction. As the head descends and the perineum starts to bulge, an episiotomy may be considered if necessary. As the occiput passes under the symphysis pubis, the forceps handles are raised, helping to extend the fetal neck and allow the head to deliver. Once the head emerges, the forceps can be removed. The birth is then completed using maternal pushing efforts or a modified Ritkin maneuver. Thank you for watching this overview of the basic steps involved in forceps delivery.